As we watch the anti-racism protests happening around the world, many are coming forward with stories of racism that they experienced here in Canada. And that includes Kahari Jones, the head coach of the Montreal Alouettes, who recently opened up about his experience with racism in Canada. Jones says he received death threats while he was a player with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers because of his interracial marriage. I'm joined now by Kahari. He's in Surrey, B.C. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Good morning. So, my pleasure. What sort of thoughts and feelings have you had this past eight or nine days as you watched first the death of George Floyd and then the protests <laughs> and now the charges and people marching to the streets? Where's your head at? Uh, it's, it's not in a great place, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, just after seeing uh, George Floyd, uh, I think for like a lot of people, it was like a, it was almost a breaking point for, for me in a sense. And, in that, uh, and just the callous way that it, 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 uh, was done and, and on camera and just like everyone else, I was very hurt. I was sad. Uh, Brianna Taylor before that, uh, uh, I mean, there's so, there's just been so many. And I, I think people are just, uh, they've said enough is enough and it, it, I'm usually not one to, you know, speak out on social media or, or I just kind of keep things to myself. But I, uh, after talking to, to people, I, I just knew that I had to say something and add, add something to the, to the conversation. And share your story. Um, tell us what happened to you while you were in Winnipeg and, and these letters that you received from people. What were they saying to you? Yeah, well, I, I think it was just one person at the time, but he sent a, a, a lot of letters, uh, and it, they were just, you know, vile in nature, and you know, the N word, and and calling my wife names, calling my my just born child, uh, uh, just horrible names, and and then it just it got violent in nature, and saying, hey, I uh, uh, I hope someone shoots you. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, and uh, bang, you're gonna get yours, and so it was. It was a very. Uh, it, it was kind of crazy because uh, you know you never expect to to get those. You've hear, heard about athletes in the past getting you know death threats and and things like that, but you you don't think it's gonna happen. And and uh, of course in Canada, and and we've had great experiences up here, and we've lived all over the country, and so. We, uh, I don't think we've we've really experienced that in in person with with anyone anywhere we've been. But just to receive those letters was was uh, was was scary because I was still playing. I was on the road. My wife was home with our new child, and uh, and you don't know if the person is 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 serious and going to go through with it. And you kept those letters. Why would you want to keep them? Um, that's a good question. I I just. As a reminder, I think that that racism is out there, you know, and to not be complacent and to not think that it doesn't exist. The fact that that person was never caught is something that probably stays with me a little bit because, you know, there's someone out there that thinks that way and he knows people and he has family members maybe that, that, that think that same way uh, racism is a is a learned behavior and um there's there's someone out there that 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 feels that way so that and he's probably not the only one so that's it's just more of a reminder than anything else and uh, just just to make sure that that we're we're careful and we're safe what is your message to people kahari who think that racism is not a problem here in canada uh I just want to make sure that people are, are continuing to have the conversation. Uh, overall, uh, I, I would say, and, and you know, a lot of the players and, and coaches that I've, I've been around would say that, that it, it is better here, but there's still work that needs to be done. There's still conversations and tough conversations that need to be had. And to get into black people's shoes, get into minority shoes and, and to feel what they're feeling on a, on a regular basis, because I think people are just sometimes unaware of it. And it's not a, it's not a, a thing that they're trying to do, but uh, they just have to know that how we have to walk around sometimes, how we, how we have to do things certain times is, is, uh, is, it shouldn't be that way. 
And so uh, the more we can learn, the more we can be together, the, the, the better this is going to be for everybody. And, and so hopefully, hopefully what everything is going on right now, it, it just teaches people to, to just listen and, and, uh, and, and hear people's stories and hear what's, what's going on. Well said. Head coach of the Montreal Alouettes, Kahari Jones, all the best to you. Thank you for your time. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to Pretty you again.